To perform the SCCM client deployment using the push method, we can uh, use the client installation settings under the administration workspace where we have client push installation option available. We'll click on client push installation and there we have several tabs. The one I want to show you is the accounts tab where I have the account which has the necessary permissions to do the deployment on the client machine is configured so this client install is actually the uh, having local admin rights on the client where the deployment need to be performed and you can do it in several ways like the machines are already part of the active directory domain so we can uh, do the configuration of an account of active directory which will be having local admin rights on the target clients to do the deployment next is the installation properties where you can specify the site code the site will be assigned to the client after the deployment any other settings like the fallback status points if you have i have configured it in my previous video so if you are new to fsp you can watch my previous video then uh, the sms cache directory is configured and the uh, sms cache flags that is for max drive configured here so these are all the operators that you can specify uh, parameters you can specify you can say and then you can enable this automatic site-wide client push installation if you want it in the entire site so it is up to you it is optional so this option installs the configuration manager client in your site in a automated manner well i will perform the push deployment manually i mean i'll be going to the client machine directly and will initiate the deployment i'll go to the devices under the assets and compliance and we'll choose this device london client 7 and you see that there is no client installed on it i will right click on it and we'll click on install client button from here this will show you the uh, window for doing the configuration for the installation so here you can define the installation options like uh, the deployment you want to do on the domain controller itself suppose you want the domain controllers to be managed through the sccm so you want this sccm client to be deployed always install the client software okay and then install the client by going to the next and click close button over here this will initiate the deployment of uh, client i have switched to london client 7 to show you the installation of the client and launch the task manager where in the background processes i can see this ccm setup.exe which means that the installation is going on i need to wait for this to be completed after few minutes i noticed that the ccm setup.exe process is no longer available which means that the deployment is completed under the c windows ccm setup folder there is a logs folder where i can see the ccm setup i will open it in the ccm setup log file we can see several lines and we can use the find option to see this log file or we can use the cm trace tool as well to figure out the content we are looking for i have done a dedicated video on uh, cm trace tool as a log viewer you can use that i will put the link of the video in this videos description you can watch the video about cm trace tool well here we can monitor that sms client installation is succeeded if we want to monitor some other keywords we can find them in this log file installing fallback back 
well now we can go to the control panel and monitor this configuration manager and its policies under system and security we have configuration manager at the bottom where from we can see the general tab this is the london cfg datem.com assigned management point the site assigned is sms s01 home management is disabled we are using completely on premises as of now this is the version of the client the client certificate is self signed these are the components some of them have been enabled some of them are installed actions we can run any of the policy for example hardware inventory software inventory we are doing we will be using them later some policies we want to retrieve so we can run them from there under the actions tab i'll show you the components once again under the components you see many of the components here for example hardware inventory agent is available and is enabled as per the policies configured for all the clients of SCCM that policy has been applied i can see the software metering software inventory agent all these components have been enabled by the default policy that is configured for all the systems you can define custom configuration settings for your SCCM clients those settings you can deploy to the targeted device collections to the required devices well now let's move to the configuration manager server to see the status of the clients in the configuration manager i'll go to the monitoring workspace where i have the option to see the client status and under the client status i can see the client activities or client check so these are various options available here on the right side you will see the options client activity and all if i want the client status settings to configure like how frequently i want these client policy requests so i can define heartbeat discovery during the following days so that frequency i can specify so a heartbeat discovery will be done every 3 days so accordingly i can configure them and click okay now i switch to the cl1 and go to the computer management where i will show you this task scheduler for configuration manager under the task scheduler library there will be microsoft and then the configuration manager folder under that there is the configuration manager health evaluation i can run this job now i switch back to my configuration manager server and refresh this client status so i can click on the client check to view the information about the check of the clients there are two client check passed and one for one client one no results as of now you can click in this pie and have a look over there or you can click on those clients as well so these two clients that i have are cl1 and cl2 they were properly deployed but yes they are not active in this lab environment right now i can go back to the monitoring and the one client 
this should be the london cl7 and uh, the client is installed on it but yes this check will take some time it takes few minutes for the client to report properly this client is show, shown as yes and client activities active next i will show you device health evaluation and remediation how the unhealthy devices are remediated for that i'm going to all desktop and server clients and uh, configure this for the alerts for in case unhealthy clients i have so i can set it up over here i can click on add button for client check or the client activities so as you see the client check pass or no results for the active clients okay that fails below threshold so in percent i can define client remediation successful client activity falls below the threshold the threshold that i'm going to configure is actually 90 percent or 95 percent 98 percent i can define them accordingly so three things i have added the client check client remediation and the client activity on my device collection for all the systems within my configuration manager environment and has set it to 95 percent so if the client check is below 95 percent the alert will be triggered to the system admins or i can configure it accordingly so i click ok now let us evaluate the client's health what happens when the client is unhealthy here i will simulate the unhealthy client and for that i will disable the service the wmi service which is used for inventory and the sms service the configuration manager service running on this machine i will go to the services and we'll look for the windows instrument windows management instrumentation service WMI the service startup type is automatic going to change it to disabled click ok we'll stop it click ok so the service WMI has been disabled and stopped. This is also stopped because the service depends on WMI. Now I will go to the configuration manager job in the task scheduler and we'll run that job for health evaluation now we will see that how configuration manager will remediate the client once you start that or once this job is triggered on the defined schedule so currently it is in the stopped state i need to wait for a minute We'll refresh this this is done now you see as soon as i refreshed it it is in the running state same with the wmi the wmi service must be running and it is set to automatic mode so this is the configuration manager health evaluation that has fixed the health issues on the client machines